more invasive cavity searches in the southwest of the United States, this time involving Customs and Border Protection and a Texas hospital, which allegedly subjected a woman to repeated anal and vaginal cavity searches over a period of six hours without her consent, without a warrant, leaving her traumatized, according to the lawsuit that was filed a few months ago. We now have more information because of the released document. The hospital then, as is always the case when we have these incidents, sent the woman a bill for the five thousand dollars in treatment that she refused to consent to. The civil lawsuit against CBP and the University Medical Center of El Paso, where some of the cavity searches were performed, raises questions about what legal protections are available to people when crossing an increasingly militarized border. This all started because a drug sniffing dog lunged towards her direction. OK, so that's when it all started up. And as we know, these dogs can sometimes just be wrong. They can also sense something from their handler, which makes them think that the right thing to do, which is ultimately what the dog's interest is, is to signal that there are drugs there. And the woman came back to the U.S. through the port of entry at El Paso and she was selected for further screening. And after the drug dog hit on her, they started subjecting her to all sorts of tests. There was first the um, I, I, you know, these, these are really quite disgusting. As I mentioned, there were the cavity searches, the anal search, the vaginal search. She was forced to have an observed bowel movement that produced no evidence of drugs either. There were X rays. Then there was a CT scan on and on and on. Uh, these stories are just absolutely sickening. And remember, you don't even have a signed warrant. How far can you go without a signed warrant with non consensual medical tests? It is absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, this is uh, this is the worst one. I, I thought we couldn't top that that last story. Um, of course, the, the last one wasn't Border Patrol agents. It was just uh, normal police officers doing this type of thing, looking for drugs. Uh, I, I can't believe that just because a dog made a, a quick little move that American citizens would do this to another American citizen.